Hi, I'm Peter Holly, President and CEO of Fable Copper Corp. And today I'd like to tell you about our latest press release where we disclose the results from our 2021 UAV drone mission on the Neil Copper Occurrence. This is a second set of drone results from the 2021 Surface Field Exploration Program on our Moskwa Copper Project, which comprised of the Neil property, the Toro property, all in Northern British Columbia. The company also holds the rights to the Bronson property. A total of 19 specific areas were mapped and prospected during the 2021 field season. And we started the new year by reporting our findings on the Lady Luck occurrence in the south end of the Neal property, followed by the MAC, the 8A, Harris, the 2A and 2B, the Creek, Key South, Belcher Creek, the Magnum Mine, and now the Neal Vein. The Neal Copper Currents hosts two styles of high-grade copper mineralization, which is found in the Neal Vein and the adjoining mineralized quartz sulfide breccias, over 1,000 meters vertically. Yes, that's one kilometer vertically. And as you can see, 1.5 meters long on strike. Widths vary from a few meters to over 30 meters in width. The Neal Vein trend is not defined by a versatile time domain electromagnetic or VTEM geophysical signature within the area of mineralization. As part of the 2021 exploration, five select areas were surveyed by an unmanned aerial vehicle, the UAV, and photogrammetry survey was conducted over the Harris, Eagle, Neal, and Magnum veins by Drone North. And as you can see, the outline of the Neal UAV mission survey area. The purpose of the UAV photogrammetry survey were to, number one, generate high resolution photogrammetry database sets for vein targeting to better understand bedrock controls on copper mineralization. Number two, generate high resolution digital terrain models to assist with three dimensional modeling of the targets and number three, generate baseline imagery to record current status of surface distribution at sites that will be actively explored in the coming years. Equipment used to carry out the UAV photogrammetry surveys consisted of a DJI Phantom 4 Pro version 2 optical 20 megapixel camera drone with both a mechanical shutter and an upgraded Rover L1, L2 Global Navigation Satellite System receiver, and a multi-frequency SunVav G10 base station we use to allow for corrections of the UAV Rover receiver location information. Ground control points or data points were acquired during the survey. 27 terrain following missions were completed to survey the, the area with a total of 4,720 photographs acquired during the surveying. And the final GSDs, or resolution, were 4.92 centimeters for the ortho mosaic and 19.7 centimeters for the digital surface model. Data products generated included a three to 23 centimeter resolution color orthophoto mosaics, as you can see. Note the red line, trace up the mountain. This is the Neal vein and Neal vein breccia. Also, digital surface models and digital terrain models were created. As you can see, hill shade models were also generated for each target area. Survey grade accuracy of one to three centimeters with ground control points was also acquired at the time of the mission. In this case, the illumination, or the sun, is shining at 315 degrees azimuth. This means that the direction the sun is shining, thus being able to detect structures. We can set the degree of illumination to whatever angle we wish. The data generated was used for in-field targeting of visual copper occurrences on the ortho photo due to the three centimeter resolution which led to field examination of the mineralized unit, 
to sampling of the Neil Vane and Neil Vane bread chip, where a total of 48 samples were collected as a first pass evaluation. As you can see on the yellow dash line outlining how extensive the veining and breccia is at the mountaintop. The red dots are sample locations and note the drone operator, Dr. Vanessa Bennett of Drone North for scale. As you can clearly see in this drone video, the extensive mineralization present as seen by the gaussian oxidization of the Neil vein and breccia, which is the brown colored material. Note the detailed resolution. As we've been reporting and showing to you on a regular basis, try and imagine all this copper occurring in such a small area. And we have yet not even finished reporting our 2021 findings, not only on the Neil property, but also on the Toro and Bronson. But as you can and will see, we have been very busy going forwards. Using the results of the data gathered by the UAV drone in the 2021 field season, the field crew will further sample in further detail and complete mapping the extensive Neil Vein and Breccia. An additional release on the sampling and the results of the Neil Vein and Breccia deposit will be forthcoming in the following weeks. Follow us as we explore fabled green copper in Northern British Columbia.